live from Studio C, you're watching Chronicle in High Definition. First, a story of kids helping kids. I started volunteering at Cradles to Crayons when I was eight years old, so that would make it about four years ago. Every Tuesday, Samantha Goldthwaite of Braintree comes to this Quincy warehouse to inspect toys and fill orders for children she's never met. They don't really have much, so when they ask for stuff, it's the stuff that they really need. These are families that often live on three to four hundred dollars a month, says Charity Bell of the Mass Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children. When you have a mother who has a new baby who can't take her new baby out of the hospital without a car seat, she has to choose between paying a light bill and buying a car seat. Today, Belle is delivering clothes, activity books, and a stroller to a mother in Boston. She has a two-year-old who's recently had surgery on her legs and is in casts, and unfortunately, she's having a very hard time getting her around. Oh, you're so big. Keep pulling. It's a really great mom who is working very hard to supply for her kids what they need. And without those basics, you can't possibly concentrate on the really important things that allow a child not just to survive, but to thrive. 